Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues once again, playing as those beautiful Sky Reavers, led right now by Chrono. So last time, we took out those fiends from the Graver Territory, and we smashed them a uh, pretty good bit. So right now, I believe we can probably continue raiding other areas for supplies, but really, my main goal now is, to, besides scouting Area 6, is to take everything from them and core their states. That'd be probably a good thing to do. And then we probably want to build them up a little bit more, at least in City 318. But we've got a couple comments to get through. But before we do that, let's make sure we do this. That we are on pacification as well as militia. That's okay for now since we don't have enforcers to use. And we are trying to use some Spec Ops soldiers here. And if we need to, go ahead and train. All right. Securing Area 6 is what we're doing. we got four days left. We're about to get paid soon. We could sell some outdated equipment, but we're not going to do that. Glowing Hills, Stage 2 Incident Glowing Hills. Do we really need another one there? Or Ruby, ooh, Ruby Hill Border. That might be worth doing. Do we need another military factory, though? Not really, but we could always use one. Uh, let's see. Or instead, maybe we'll grab someone else. Sliding Basta. No, no, no. Settlement Raid. Uh, friends in high places. Uh, slave Flogger. Civilian stuff. Uh, this stuff is all not bad. Over here, expanding the game. Yeah, Brendan Luck. I love getting more soft attack and hard attack for this stuff. I think, ultimately, this is the guy we got to choose, though. It's unfortunate, but let's go ahead and do take everything from them. Crushing them in battle gives an inch. Now that we've owned their crap, it's time to take a mile. Rip it up and take it back to HQ, boys. Very nice. One, two, three, four places now become our core, which is awesome. One, two, three, four. Not a lot of manpower. Maybe in 3318 there's quite a bit, but other than that, really not a lot of manpower, but that's okay. And like I said yesterday... The Sky Reavers might come in and, uh, not Sky Reavers, we are the Sky Reavers. The 80s might come in and try to knock on our door. Ooh, battle plans are done. Very, very nice, my friends. Very, very nice. Let's grab some field fortifications. So, the first comment I want to get to is, I asked you guys whether I should use saws or not. Do you guys use saws? I generally don't. But you guys recommended that I do use saws, so we are going to use saws because you guys said so. So, we already have them on our teams. We're going to keep them on. I usually don't put them actually in our teams because it's not really that helpful. It's okay. If you want to put another battalion in, I'd recommend just getting infantry because they almost have they have very similar defense. The infantry has a little bit less defense, just a little bit less soft attack. They don't have any breakthrough for your fire teams. Even though infantry gives you just a little bit. Uh, you lose organization compared to infantry giving you some. You get 10 HP, but you get 25 HP from infantry. So saws, I mean, they're okay for support equipment, but anything else, it's kind of meh to say the least. Alright, Settlement Builder, you know, we could do that. I'm probably going to go with the Resource Efficiency game, though. How much are we missing? Scrap and water? Ooh, what is this? The Scourge Traders? We, we could probably distress Outsiders. How about we... Ooh, Mob Boss. Intellectual Support, more Research Speed, Less Daily Pickle Power, Frank the Butcher, Manning. Slave Flogger. <sighs> Big Joe. It's not bad. We do want more Daily Ruler Support. And Mayor of the Crystal Springs, Darius Will. That isn't bad either. Let's go with Slave Flogger, because he sounds like fun. He sounds like a fun guy, you know? Just sounds like a fun guy, just flogging all the slaves. Uh, don't quote me on that. Let's just build up our areas as well. And... Uh, Multi-purpose equipment, because we can. Because we can. Cool. So up next, once we have this done, integrate the Grabber Territories. There are ours now, as body, mind, and soul, they belong to us. There ain't no Grabbers no more. All that remains is... This is, on this turf, is Reavers. Hungry for war and ready to serve. Absolutely. Got more factories immediately. We got them as cores. We got more manpower immediately. What more could you really ask for? So we should probably... Oh, I didn't realize the White Legs were already at war with the Tar Walkers. Ooh. Ooh la la. Uh, what should we should grab? Nah, we're good here. We're even good here. Maybe some more infantry equipment. You, you can never go wrong, really, with infantry equipment. So that's probably pretty good to do. We could grab some more resource production as well. Even though, actually, you know what? We should probably focus a little bit, a little bit more on planes. So we should research gliders next. I should have done that a little earlier. That was my fault. Uh, do we need more water? Vanished scouts. Some of our men searching in the desert have vanished. We assume they were hit by raiders or just got lost. But we managed to find... Oh, boy. Desert rangers using slavery. Or using slaves. How dare you? Uh, the campfire went out on its own with a po full pot over the fire. The guns were found on the ground unfired. There was no sign of bloodshed. As is, it's as if they just walked off into the desert, except there are no footprints. Well, crudderinos. Let's keep investigating. Hopefully... Hopefully, there aren't any uh, bad things in Area 51 that could really hurt us. But you never know. Siege incident down there? Why not? 
Might as well send out manual prospectors. That'd be very good. Very, very good. So at this point, we're going to continue doing this. And we want to get a message delivered. And also the other comment from yesterday, that the other main one from the time of this recording, is that we should establish the Wasteland Royalty. This is the way we should go. We either have to be having a ruling party, a ruler, or elites, because that seems the most interesting. So which I agree with. That's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Let's get some gliders next, which I said we would. And we're about to get paid soon. Relatively soon. And infantry equipment. Uh, that's good enough at this point where I'm going to say, let's. we can sell some. We can definitely sell some. We could stage a border incident. Ooh, do we need more dynamite? No, we do not. For now. That's fine. So, in the meantime, tower walkers were annexed. Uh, just in case, let's better get a bigger border with these guys. When they go to war with New Canaan, we need to be ready to take out the white legs. So, but maybe in the meantime, we might just go to war with these guys over here called the Great Khans. Maybe, maybe not. A, a massacre over there? Maybe, maybe not. That might occur. That might not occur. Good thing is cam black market never, at least at the time of this recording, it's not really worth using cams. They're just not really worthwhile using. In the same time, we're going to grab even some more infantry. And we want to core probably Lincoln, even though actually with this focus tree, can we core uh, White Legs territory? Remnants of the Friskers will join our forces, and the Thorners will join. Show them who's boss, we declare war on them, and we rebuild. The former territory of the White Legs tribe will be rebuilt. If promises were made, they will be honored. Oh, okay, kind of cool. Let's do, do that. Cripple the white legs. These wannabe Indians from the east have been doing what they want for far too long now. Sadly, we bloody murder them. Wow, just straight up honest. Well, I guess it could be worse. And I definitely want to make sure that we use our special forces as effectively as possible. Even though that's really good as well. Joker's not bad. All right, very good. It's 2277, my friends. Hope you're having a great year. Let's grab some vacuum tubes for even more research and more. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I definitely need to get some more extraction and stuff and water. Let's grab some water. That'll be nice. Demilitarization. Do they know who they're talking to? Obviously not. We can't make planes yet, which is fine. So we'll go to war with these guys, even though... How long will this take? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll just go to war with these guys first. That can't be too difficult to take out, right? New lands, huh? They don't have a lot of manpower. They got, well, they got quite a few divisions, actually. Let's grab some motorized flight. Let's grab some planes. Gliders will be a great addition to our army. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Got to share the wealth around here. Share the wealth just a little bit more. And if that's the case, I don't mind doing Glowing Hills Border. They don't need a Ashton, probably, or St. George's. And I'll do Glowing Hills, because since we will get St. George's later on anyway, under us. So we don't want to steal from ourselves. That wouldn't be very smart. Nice, very nice. Not bad, not bad. Cool. Hope you're having a great rest, great day, guys. Uh, for us, the scope of the campaign, like I said earlier, will be for us to conquer all of Nevada, which would be a good, fun time. So we got to go to the 80s. Even how far do we go up north? Go all the way up to the Kemalt Station. Kemalt Station. So we should probably ooh, scavenge found something better in our, in our hands than our enemies. Good. A bonus to vehicle technology. Too bad I'm not using them. I might use tanks near the end, but. We'll see what happens. Let's get some coordinated assault, though. More breakthrough. I love breakthrough. Oh, my goodness. Such a good stat to have. Demilitarization. Core income. Meh. We can only get how much? Put a, two. Really? Love of the people. Safe and sound. 2.22 a day. Holy crudderinos. Chief of the Air Force, go ahead and do better fighter production, because that would be great. And let's go ahead and do a promise made or preparing a defensive perimeter. Let's do this one first. We have to learn from the mistakes of our former eastern neighbors did. Before we go to war with these crazy tribals, we will prepare our own turf. The boss already gave the word to start building fortifications. We better hurry. Cool. Because then I do want to get down here. Actually, I should have done this next. Get science department. Getting another research slot would be, actually be very, very beneficial since we only have three. Four would be nice. More monthly population. Add auto injectors. Join Sky River technology effort. Second Sky River base. Ooh. National spirit, more organization, population, attack, defense, and daily intellectual support. Oh. Stimulus package. Oh, I saw that one yesterday. That was pretty good, too. Very nice. And help settlements. Always help settlements. That's so good. <clears throat> we're just building our factories up very nicely. Uh, we could build more factories, but I think we're okay for now. I, Because we could just keep stealing other people's factories, which is fun and all. But, eh. We'll see what happens. Hmm. NCR, you know what? Since you guys are still here, 
What if we put you guys over here? We can reach more people this way. And I probably want to steal. Oh, probably want to steal from the 80s. Even ripe rolled. I think I'm going to do the Desert Rangers just because we don't really like them that much. Thank you. Another factory. Awesome. We get so much political power. Imagine if I wasn't even doing a focus right now. We still have so much political power. 99 divisions. They got a little bit of motorized. We should probably get some anti tank as well. That'd be very beneficial for when we have to fight anyone who is part of the uh, power armor group, we'll say. The power armor group. And we'll do that. For now, a couple more divisions. Even though I should, probably should have put them on special forces, that's okay. Uh, that's the case, you know what? You're not going to be under Chrono. You're going to be under Black Widow. And. Uh, maybe more attack. Infantry. I'm pretty sure these guys are considered infantry, so let's try light touch. And attack. Cool. Because you guys, you already set in your ways. Motorized flight, very nice. Grab some biplanes, that'll be very good to do. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys are still training. If I do attack, I'd probably attack right here. It looks a little weaker. Just a little bit. Nice. And let's go ahead and do scientific development, or science department. The eggheads found some research equipment in Area 6. If we can spare the man, then they can use clever kids in lab assistance and let us figure out more stuff quicker. Which would be a great thing. Cool desert pass is getting done. I like it. Vacuum tubes are awesome. Grab some primitive radio. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Vault City Clear, one of the Slack Ops tribes. Cool. Chief of the Navy. Obviously, that wouldn't be very beneficial for us right now. Vanish Scouts again. Are you kidding me? I want to come down here so we get jet faster just by Wargold Sounds. 5%. 160. So, out of 160. Let's see. Oh, oh rebuilding the waste. Cool. Investigate rumors. 160 was the amount of time we had to wait for days to go to war with the Great Cons, which is done now, which is great. 5% less would be what? 8 days less, maybe? Maybe 8 days less? Cool, go and do that. And stop training. Stop training. There you go. Let's get more army XP. That was nice. They have an aggression pack. We're going to call... Well, we don't really have allies, so... They don't attack us, which is fine. But they do have motorized, which means we can't pierce them. Hmm, at least we're at war with them, I guess. There's hills, and this is hills. Hmm, maybe I should have waited to go to war. 69, nice. We can't pierce them, but they can pierce us, which is not ideal. But somehow we are still able to win the battle so far. Cool. Manual prospectors, we could do that. Maybe save up just a little bit. We could use maybe slightly more infantry equipment. Wait, what am I saying? I'm not saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying anymore. Oh my goodness, I'm going crazy. Let's see. Hmm. We're still winning somehow. Of course, when you have 20% attack and defense on your special forces, things tend to go pretty well. Gear has conviction. Good luck with that, the Presidente. Very much good luck with that. You head on over and you just help support the attack. Oh, we got one knocked out. That's good. Yeah, next up is anti tank. We haven't lost anyone yet. Well, of course, the battle's still going on, so we'll see what happens. You guys are getting attacked right there. Science department, nice. Uh, we need more manpower now. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, no. Bunker up. Raiding caravans. Infrastructure development. Yeah, we could do that one. Sure, infrastructure is good for moving quickly across an area, but who know what else it's good for? Sick people who need doctors. Hungry people who need food. Dying people who need comfort. By investing in the local infrastructure, we can help the people as much as we help ourselves. Which is a good idea. Somehow we're still winning over here. Oh, and we have this. Uh, good. Extra research slot. Anti-tank raffles. I should have done that one a little bit sooner than that than this. So, my bad. Uh, living standards. Might as well max that out. How is the air XP? We are, are we getting any? Okay then. Well, if that's the case. Oh, you don't have the range. That makes sense. Uh, come down here. Build at least three for now so we can get a little closer, because that's not three. Well, that's not the Desert Pass. But they have a base all the way over here. Desert Pass might be close enough to we can actually use them effectively. Or just use them, period. We could use more population, too, after this. Hmm. Come on. There we go. That's definitely closer. And now you should be able to do a little bit of air damage. There we go. That should be enough for us to push through, maybe, hopefully. We still can't pierce them. They can still pierce us. 
force the attack, coordinate assault, even more breakthrough, great. We'll grab tri triple warfare, perform more like infantry defense, and ensure some speed. There we go. That the motorized is failing. The infantry is failing as well. Good. We did it. Oh, they came back though. They came back. That's not cool. You god darn heathens. Uh, keep it up. Keep it up. We've lost 117 versus 379. Not bad. And we're out of manpower. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Look at the cost. Oh my goodness. No wonder we get so much political power. We have no manpower. How much manpower do these guys have left? Seraph Lords. Oh. They still have a few hundred. Good for them. Not good for us. Come on, guys. You got this. And we're getting a little bit of barracks speed as well, which is very nice. Biplane fighters will help us out as well. And let's grab some lightweight metals. Good. We need more scrap, though. Of all things, we need more scrap. Wow. Oh, uh, it's only ten. We can do that one. Infantry. That's nice. If we're fighting just infantry, it's not that bad. But still. You know what? Don't let him move in. Begin attacking here, too. Infrastructure investments. Very cool. Uh, stimulus package. Please the population that lives in your territory. Adoration and worship, huh? Diplomatic approaches. Gives you political power. Chems distribution. Bunker up. I think it gives us more manpower. Uh, I'll do chems distribution because we can. What's better than a little fix before the massacre starts? Right. Nothing. Well, I guess so, yeah. Hey, we actually beat him back there. Nice. We actually did something. Go, if we go over here, that'd be quite ideal, but we're stuck for now. Oh, primitive radio will help us out. Let's grab some simple circuitry. We might as well at this point. Get our guys some more planning, maybe. We're, we will attack somewhere here pretty okay like. Let's see. Uh, we could keep attacking there. What if you attacked here and just went down here? Took half you guys with you. Could you actually win? Maybe. Maybe. Anti-take rifles are good. Grab some focus fire. That'd be awesome. There you go. Could we actually win here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Move, 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 move. No, no. You want to go that way. There you go. Lower the attacks for now on this side. Because we still want to encircle these guys to stop attacking. Let them live. Barely. Come on, get in there, go, 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 go. Up oh, force the attack. Spec Ops are doing so well right now. Come on, crush them. Alright, Bane, you're doing a good job. He's learning a lot. Come on. Come on. Oh, we did it. Yeah, we cut them off. We should have cut them off right there. They have two divisions there. Move in immediately. Woo! And we gotta go there next. Begin assault immediately. Cool. Force the attack. Move in, move in, move in. Help to support the attacks more. Do not let them move. Another division was made. We definitely need more manpower. Holy cow, we gotta raise up our conscription level, unfortunately. And of course, the Sheev declared war on the Victoria for some reason. But, whatever. Boom, we got them. We've got them. All six divisions up here are encircled. This is a great thing. Cool. Now, I could extend my border with the White Legs a little bit more by taking out the Sorrows, but I think I'm okay with that. Western Grand Canyon, might as well deal with them as well. Go ahead and... wow. And they're all dead. Great. If that's the case, just go ahead, guys, and move on in. Make it our own. And then we can start courting this territory, too, which would be nice. Eventually, of course. Eventually. And the second British Massacre of British Springs... Uh, uh, mass There's no massacre here. What are you talking about? Fake news. Fake news. Can I raise this up? I can't immediately. Yeah, we're going to go from 5% to 7%. Chem's distribution. Very good. Stimulus package. I guess we might as well. So, by giving some of our ill-gotten gains to the local population, we can boost their productivity capability and expect a little something back in return. A win-win, I do say so myself. Get economy law. More factories. This will please the population that lives in our territory. Cool. Sounds good to me. I'm not really sure what to make of it, but sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Let's see, attack here to here to here. That's three. Uh, oh, the White Legs already are at war with... Oh. Well then. Can I actually send volunteers? I can send one. Maybe I can send a thing of you guys. 
That might be beneficial for now. Okay, then. Oh, wait. Uh, I need to send them. Oh, even the visit rangers went there. Uh, we're going to send another volunteer thing in a month. I want to send them my planes. Oh, we already did. Okay, I forgot whether we did or not. 40? I can send... Wow, 8. Hmm. Wow. Well, it is what it is. And we do have enough range to help defend, just for a little bit. Some of you guys are getting shot down, but, uh... With only eight, we do help. Oh, god, more sand. Uh, scouts have turned up nothing in the desert of southern Nevada. Although some of our men have reported flickering lights in the night sky and menacing figures in the dreams, the only thing they've found are pre-war tourist traps. This is starting to look like a waste of time. Perhaps we should have gotten New Vegas instead. We get manpower back, which is nice, which we'll use immediately. And, ooh, we can help out. Nice. Honor playing fighters, you might as well do that. It's not that ahead of time, we're already using them. Good. Loon border, we could raid some more, but do we really need to raid some more? Not really. At least in my mind, we're not really. Because we're doing pretty well on everything. Focus fire is great. Grab some uh, healing powder. I said I'd research something next, but I can't remember now. Alright, so you're here. And if we have to use another general, so be it. Someone like Alan Weber. Oh, no. Someone not like Alan Weber. Uh, Elliot Two Face? Well, better than everyone else we had right there, so. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Two Face. Survivalists, probably experienced soldiers' losses, yeah. Headed for the best. You're leading some of the best here, man. You're leading some of the best. Oh god, we're missing so much manpower. Reduce conscription, you're crazy if you think I'm going to reduce conscription. Pacification, yeah, we definitely have to, definitely have to do pacification here. Oh, resistance compliance is still going up by 0.2 a day, so that's not too bad. Oh, you guys are... Are you guys really attacking? Hold on, get over here then. Nice. Another division. Yeah, maybe we can go to war with the uh, White Lakes as soon as possible. That might be very good. But this guy over here, he's going to get a lot of XP. A lot. I'm getting more air XP just a little bit a little bit at a time. Could be better, could be worse. That's okay. Train as well. Until someone wants to go to war with us, of course. Keep holding. You guys are doing fine. Can they actually pierce us? Are my guys in the w battle? Uh, n yes, they are. They can get pierced a little bit, though. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Stimulus package, very cool. And then we'll go bunker up. Although we have set our first line of defense is set up, we aren't done just yet. Some of the bunkers to make our defenses stronger will be necessary. Just in case, of course. Just in case. Cool. Keep holding up, guys. Uh, you know, I'm going to give you a field marshal. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Alan Weber, you're garbage, but I'm still going to use you. Rooted. Oh, inspirational. Yeah, let's set, offset some of his uh, terrible uh, experience gain. Exper Prepared defense is great. Let's grab some anti-armor tactics for more heart attack. Only 5%. Not not that much, actually. Only 5%. Are you learning anything? Two-Face. Maybe. Simple circuitry. Let's grab some radio. Reinforce rate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, we are still losing the battle a little bit. So be it, so be it. Come on, Desert Rangers. Come on, guys. You've got this. Don't lose. Don't lose. Anti-tank. Let's go and throw some anti-tank on our guys here. That'd be nice. You know what? Throw on these guys as well. Healing powder. You know what? We just got it. Oh, we can't add it on yet, though. That sucks. And doggos. Come on, guys. I know you're out of organization. Oh, you were defeated. That is not ideal. Are you fighting immediately again? Wow. But you got some organization back, so that's okay. Sort of okay. Oh, God, they lost Payson. Uh-oh. Are we still mobilizing? Yes, we are. That's good. Bunker up. This war is not going to be good for the new Canaanites. Woof. We can only have five out of six. Yeah, we're... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. At least, are you learning anything? Two-Face, please. Please tell me you're learning something. I don't want to see you for nothing, man. Water. Let's grab some more water, just in case. We're doing pretty well, but we could use more scrap now. Oh, new cannon. No, no, no. You gotta hold, hold, hold. Oh, yeah, you're holding now. They stopped attacking with as many divisions. And we lost that tile, too. Wow, that sucks. That really sucks. We're so out of manpower. Maybe I should stop making so many divisions, then. Maybe. I'm only making two, though. There you go. Save that manpower. Which we gain like nothing. 
Ugh. Come on, guys. You gotta hold. Bunker up is good. Show them who's boss. Oh, we go to war immediately? Sure, why not? Limited war underscore desk. I love that. Go and stop training. Stop training. Stop training. If that's the case... Oh, the Desert Rangers really don't like us, which I kind of understand why. You guys come over here. You guys do th uh, Not that yet. You do that. Cool. We're going to attack with a lot of guys here. Nice. Very good. We'll be at war very soon. Very, very soon. And, um, yeah, that'll be good. Oh, oh, they got pacing back. There you go. Our guys are dying over here like crazy. How many have we lost? Only 51. Actually, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad for what we've done so far. Um, I think we're okay over here. Just keep holding. These guys should hold for now. We won't get encircled, though, once we go to war, so... That'll be fine. Yep, they're going to continually attack us. Which is fine with me. Spec Ops could use some experience. And they are pretty good divisions. Not going to lie. Pretty darn good divisions. Outside volunteers. Outside auxiliaries might be better. We're going to have a lot of territory underneath us. Both outside auxiliaries, monoplane fighters, and let's grab some triplane attackers because close air support is god tier in this mod. And we can go to war for. Oh, now we can go to war for those guys. Well, we got to wait. We gotta go to war with these guys first. Good luck. Good, good luck. But here's a question for you guys What should we call our, our agency name? Our intelligence agency name? We need something good. We need something strong. Something that says mystery, maybe a little bit, or something about Sky Reaver. Something. Let me know in the comments below. What should our intelligence agency name be? Let's use chems. We gotta get some chems, yeah. Do we have enough support equipment? Oh, yeah, we definitely do. That's nice. And we were defeated. Once again, we lost Provo. If we get back fast enough, we won't lose it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, boy. Don't lose. Oh, you're not commanding the, the army there. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's not good up there. Oh, man. Let's go to war. Go, go, go. We got less than two weeks now. Better doggos, cool. Uh, let me know. Mm, Sky Reavers. Technologically, we're raiders. Something we might use. What, what, what would we use? Flamers or grenades? I'll let you decide that as well. Uh, I like living up a lot of these choices up to you guys. I don't know. It makes it feel a little bit more engaging, at least in my mind, if I ask you guys what, what we should use. So, flamethrowers, grenades. I like exploding my enemies. But barbecuing them might be too civilized. Actually, is barbecuing people civilized? It's probably not. Hmm. The questions I have during campaigns. Oh, we beat them back at Provo. Cool. Show them who's boss. We have declared war on them. Great. And we shall rebuild. Former territory of the White Legs tribes will be rebuilt if promises were made. They will be honored. Well, let's see a promise made. Back in the old days, the Fricks. Friskers stood true to the word and were a capable bunch. With the White Legs taking over most of the turf at Frisco, business is declining for them and us. Our old relationship is still strong enough, though. We can approach them to make a deal with Isha, their matriarch, the help of the Friskers in the coming war in exchange for the, getting them their territory back. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. We'll see what happens. But, guys, I have to end the episode here because I must leave. I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will push greatly into White Lake territory. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.